There's a, a fully grown lava there. The jungle so lab is filling now. with new and curious creatures. Oh. I'll bet you any money that wasp right there that's walking along that leaf is a new species. I'll bet you wow. any money. Alana Maltby is a bat expert from the Zoological Society of London. Oh, he's tiny. Yeah, he's really, really it? small and really cute. It's a bent-winged bat, right. and I'll show you why. Most bats, they just have their fingers, and when they fold their wings, they just fold them straight up. Right. But this one folds them doubly. Oh, right. Because they're really long. But the thing is, I can't figure out which bent-winged bat it is. It doesn't quite match with any of the descriptions. Which means... Which means it, it could, could be, be a new species. A new species of furry animal, a yeah, mammal. That's a new species brilliant. of mammal, which is quite rare to which find is, a new yeah, species of it mammal. it is very rare. A small creature, but a big discovery. No one expected this success so soon. Rainforests come alive at night. Gordon treks out to find what's hiding there. Rainforests are very difficult places to work at the best of times, um, but this forest in particular is, is extra tough because the animals that live here are very secretive and they're incredibly well hidden. He has an infrared camera for filming in the darkness. There's something moving in the undergrowth. Wow! It's pretty big, it's about a, a metre and a half maybe. And I really, I don't go any closer than I am to it. I think it's a small-eyed snake. These things lurk about in the leaf litter and they, they, they kill people. Um, very, very, very dangerous snake. It would be really bad news if you were to stand on one of these. Oh, oh. Just open his mouth right up. That's a sinister looking snake. It really does freak me out seeing something as dangerous as this in the forest at night time. It'd be so easy to stand a snake like this. They need a positive identification. Steve is the team's snake specialist. <laughs> He thinks it might be one of the most venomous snakes around here. Oh, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gordy. Yeah, is that a small snake? It looks almost definitely like one. The only way you can really tell, though, is to get up close and look at the amount of scales around the eye. Snakes, obviously, hunting. Whoa. Striking quite vigorously. Whoa. Where's the head? I need to pin the head to get control of the snake. So, now that I've got it up close, you can see, although it does have that tiny beady, black, recessed eye that you'd expect from the small-eyed snake. It also has a couple of extra scales between the eye and the nostril. It's a ground snake. Not venomous, but very aggressive and always ready to strike. So, Gordy. Fantastic, mate. So it's not a small-eyed snake? It, it's not a small-eyed snake. And it leaves rodents, frogs, lizards... Yeah. Sort of All the things eggs? you're trying to film. Yeah. None the worse for wear.